And here is um, the, the last meme, which I think is actually very powerful. He was like, is this racist? Ah, it's not racist. Um, everybody's racist in America. Uh, but what this is, this is Candyland, meaning America is Candyland. You live on a plantation. And in this plantation, you're the slaves. So this is Candyland, nigga. Now that's uh that's uh, uh pain that's Chris Payne he spells it on his Facebook account C H R I Z because he's a badass that's just what he does so you know Jake Payne's trying to make him look bad but actually he pointed out a lot of you know good issues that need to be talked about uh, liberals lose all the fucking time if they're so goddamn smart why are they losing Republicans are about to take uh, Frankfurt and um, I blame you know J fuck Jake Payne he's a corporate fucking sensational bastard um, Chris Payne's a real motherfucker he's very appealing uh, with him running under the GOP I'm wondering what's going on with that but that's that's how the GOP is actually going to win campaigns by going more radical don't be like Walter D. Huddleston and be a moderate when you're a radical like Rand Paul then you'll start winning elections and so that's why Rand Paul is probably the you know presumptive nominee that's coming up. So you know he's uh, he's bringing out all these great issues. He's not holding back. Good for him. Chris Payne's in favor of gay rights, uh, whereas Allison Lundergan Grimes and some of the Democrats sort of give weak responses to when the federal judge knocked down Kentucky's popular 2004 amendment, which was put up to get Bush more votes, but it was overwhelmingly passed in Kentucky because Kentucky has a shit ton of homophobic people. And so, um, they said that it would be best if it was done legislative. Well, not really, because, you know, the majority of Kentuckians are not in favor of it. So, right is right. You, the majority cannot oppress the minority. It's bullshit. You can't do it that way. So, Chris Payne straight up says, if you want to be gay, be gay. That's who you are. How come Democrats can't say, can't say this? The last candidate that I want to talk about, so there's five candidates, right? You got Brad Kopis, you have Chris Payne, you got uh, Matt Bevin and Mitch McConnell, and you got Shauna Sterling. Now, she's kind of a real conspiracy theorist. Um, she talks real nice, and she's a pastor, um, um, but she's all over the place. I don't really know what she believes. She says that she believed in health care so much that she helped Obama get elected, uh, but now she hates how Obama didn't honor his promises. So she helps him, and she's run as a Republican. She won't repeal the thing, um, but she does want to tweak it a little bit. She's pro coal companies, so she's kind of anti-working class in that sense. She's against the anti-naked TSA scanners, which is a good idea. That's a good thing. I think Chris Payne would be in agreement with that. Um, Rand Paul is definitely in agreement. Got arrested. Our senator got arrested because he was saying that he didn't want to go through the TSA fucking scanners. Shauna Sterling of Sharpsburg. Uh, she's a certified as a pastor in 1998. She's a music minister in Owings, uh, in Owensville. Owensville. She's a pastor. She's got heart for ministry and outreach. She's a mother of a little girl. She's very blessed to adopt. She was just seven years old. She's from Bath County and um, she's 41 years old from Sharpsburg, right? Or ordained minister, master's degree in educational psychology from the University of Kentucky. Hey you guys, this is Shauna Sterling. Some of you know me as Shauna for Freedom. I wasn't always shut off for freedom, but I found that I needed to get involved politically and do my part in protecting the Constitution of the United States of America from all enemies, foreign and domestic. So here I am, running for the United States Senate, and this is week one of my video blog. I'm going to tell you guys something. I want you to know that I say this with all honesty in my heart. I'm not going to read off of a teleprompter or read a script that someone creates for me. I just want to share with you guys where my heart's at and what I see. And if you elect me, and I am representing Kentucky in the Senate, I'm going to tell you guys how it is. The good, bad, and I'm not going to be afraid. I don't think it's fair that we have to be afraid to run that we have to feel threatened to run. It's not right. This hasn't been an easy road for me. I supported Obama. I helped him get elected. When I saw that he went for our guns after saying he wouldn't go for our guns, I started talking out. Well, they didn't like that. For six months, I had to not be at my home here in Kentucky because 
my computer got hacked after I spoke out and put a video on YouTube and it scared me. I did a, Na a NASA internship the summer before and they warned us about encrypting everything when we were at NASA. I'd never in my entire life had to encrypt anything on my own computer. So Shauna Sterling says she's a conservative and a strict constitutionalist, but she says that she's not Mitch McConnell or Matt Bevin in a major way, that she doesn't favor repeal of Obamacare, the Federal Affordable Care Act. She says we need insurance, our families need it, Kentucky's poor, the way the law is written puts a lot of Kentucky families in danger of losing their health insurance or the premiums are too high, they can't afford the thing, so she's worried about that. And, um, yeah, so she had worked to re-elect Obama. So that was in 2012, and then it's only two years later. Now she's a Republican. Uh, she says it's flawed. It should be changed. Not for repeal. So she's, I'm not sure what kind of Republican she actually is um, if you are campaigning for Barack Obama. Shauna Sterling also says she's adamantly opposed to gun control. And so she's pro-guns. They're all very much pro-guns. Love their guns. I loves my guns. Believes Barack Obama's energy policies have been unfair to the coal industry. So pro-coal companies. And, uh, and that's it. That's Shauna Sterling. That's the five candidates for the Republican primary. The Republican primary in Kentucky is on May 20, 2014. Get to know your candidates. Find out you know who you think your favorite one is. If you're a Republican, you're going to have to pick one of these five people. Do you want the status quo of Mitch McConnell to carry on? Do you want somebody different? If you're a Tea Party person, do you believe in Matt Bevin or do you believe in Chris Payne? Or do you believe in Shauna Sterling or do you believe in um, Brad Copas? So... That's the Republican primary in, in Kentucky for the U.S. Senate seat. Or worry that I was being watched through my camera. <laughs> but after things started moving around on my computer, <laughs> I realized that, you know what? I was getting threatened. And I was scared. And for six months, I, I left. And I created some videos to put them out on the Internet so people could see that I'm a whistleblower now. I saw some stuff that was not done right when I was an organizer for Obama and I began exposing it and I just say even now that as I record this week one video that I'm going to get involved, get my name out there, get on camera and it's the only way, the best way I think to protect myself, my family is to just get out there in the open and to run for the United States Senate to run in a position where I can make a difference. I don't consider myself Democrat or 100% Republican, although I'm running with Republicans, because I feel that I'm somewhere in the middle. I feel that this isn't about Republican or Democrat. This is about people who don't have a lot, we the people, versus people who have a lot of money, think that they can buy an election, think that they can use money to get elected in. And that's what I'm trying to show this election, that you don't need a million dollars to run for the U.S. Senate or to fight for Kentucky. I love Kentucky. That's all I need to get your vote on May 20th, 2014. Please vote Shauna Sterling. God bless you and God bless America.